So if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Dan Rockwell, and I bought this property a year ago, and I've been renovating it ever since. So we started on the inside, now we're on the outside. I'm not completely done with the outside, but while it's on my mind, I figured I'd make this video for you because if you guys want an awesome, just badass backyard, you don't want to spend, you know, a million dollars to do it. You know, anybody can spend 40, 60, $80,000 on a badass pool, but if you guys are on a budget or you guys just want to maximize you know, profits, if you're trying to sell your house and you know everything just looks like crap in your back lawn, this is the video for you guys. So number one on my list is shaders, guys. You need a shading system, especially in Arizona. That's where I live. But if you guys live in a sunny climate, then you guys need to figure out how you, how you can get out of the sun in the backyard. There has to be an area for that. And sail shaders are by far the cheapest way. I got a link to the exact sail shaders that I got. They sell them on Amazon, super inexpensive, but I'll show you how I put them in. So really easy guys, all you do is you dig a foundation minimum of two feet in the concrete, you buy a four by six post, and boom, you put them up. We got two here, and make sure that you put every corner um, on springs. That way, with gusts of wind and stuff like that, the spring will absorb it and not all of the sail shade because it could damage it. It could pull on the post more. And guys, keep in mind there's different designs. We went with the too low on the opposite sides and too high on the opposite sides. I think that is the most aesthetic design you can have. Now, something that is not built yet is my pergola system. This is the easiest thing you guys can do. And if you guys want to, you can actually get a shading system for your pergola and skip the first step, all right? You wanna make a really big pergola. But there's two companies that I found that made these awesome, modern, easy to install pergola systems. And one of them is like Taha Grid or something like that. And this other company is half the price and it's the same exact thing. It just got delivered the other day, so I haven't installed it yet. But guys, we just got a four x four kit. And all you do guys is you put in the four x fours here, cut it to length, you put it in and you're, you're done. You know, I've never done one of these, but it looks like the easiest freaking structure you can have built. So I'm gonna go for it. So you guys can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or you know wherever they're, they're selling plants. But if you guys wanna get some free plants, it's just gonna take some sweat equity, some elbow grease, and you guys just call up your friends, call up your neighbors. Hey, you guys need any palm trees taken out or this or that? So my buddy was actually dating this girl, right? She was like, oh, I'm gonna demo my whole backyard. So he called me, he's like, hey, you want any plants? And I just got some free plants, you know? It's kind of a pain in the butt to take them out, but if you guys are looking to save some money, then it's well worth it. And next is something I also do not have done, but that is lighting, guys. Lighting is freaking key. And a little tip here, because my buddy used to own a landscaping business here in Arizona, is he said, solar lights kind of suck, all right? Unless you go super, super hundreds of dollars high-end solar, um, solar just is not as bright. So you're gonna want to run electricity. They have low voltage electricity. You guys can run under your gravel or you know under your grass, under pavers, whatever, but they have low vo voltage lighting that you guys can set up a whole bunch of outdoor lighting and it literally doesn't take that much electricity at all. So definitely look into that. So this next thing is what has impacted my backyard by far the most, all right? Bang for bang, buck for buck. This is gonna raise up your property value the most and that is concrete coating. Now this I just discovered on Instagram one day. I was scrolling through and I seen this, you know, people with, with these crazy transformations in their concrete and I was like, yeah, I wonder if, what that would do to my back patio. And it made this 1959 original concrete look brand new. There was cracks, there was rust marks, there was, it was deteriorating. It looks awful, but now it looks brand spanking new. And that was thanks to Arizona Concrete Coating, guys. So if you guys live in the Phoenix, Scottsdale area, definitely look at look those guys up on Instagram and uh, you know try to get a quote because this is by far what has impacted my backyard the most. And another thing that I learned is you can actually stain your concrete, all right? I stain or paint, but either way, you guys can, you know, if you guys don't like the shade of your concrete, but your concrete looks pretty good and structural, you just wanna change the shade, that might be something to look into. We were originally gonna do that, um, but we just, you know, we found out that you can actually get rid of all the deterioration in the concrete, all the blemishes, all the, you know, the big cracks and stuff like that. We went that route. Or what you can do, because I like to get a ton of my stuff on OfferUp, is um, like, for instance, these pavers right here. 
you guys can get pavers because everyone's out of pavers all of a sudden right now so you guys can get pavers in the color you don't even you guys can get red pavers just ugly pavers and install them all and then just use the concrete stain and pick any color you want so that's a good option there that's a good option you know anyway if you guys already have pavers in your back lawn but it, you know they look kind of dated and you want that that you know that more of a modern look with the gray tones neutral tones you guys can stain your concrete so guys thank you for watching the video it feels so good that the backyard is finally done and i have a ton more renovations on the inside outside a whole bunch of content coming your way so if you got anything from the video give this video a thumbs up leave some comments down below if you have any questions i try to get back to all of my comments and this channel is about fitness my dog and just you know any random renovations that i have going on so thanks for watching Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.